Welcome to Mile High Crafts. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a white wedding masquerade mask. So for this, you need a uh, paper mask that you can get at uh, Michael's, some paper clips, pearls and rhinestone gemstone strips, some pretty rhinestone buttons, fabric, um, flowers uh, that I made out of fabric. They're just um, cut out circles from fabric and then just pinch them and uh, hot glue them together in the middle, you know, to the base. So just very simple. Some pearls and Russian netting. Um, this is the kind of netting that you would see made for birdcage veils. Okay, so let's begin. Okay, so there is my mask and I'm gonna see where I want my material. So there is my fabric. And I just cut the piece of fabric just enough for it to cover the whole mask. And uh, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna Fold the fabric right here at the nose and I'm going to paper clip it so it stays there. There, just like that. So now I can work on the rest of the mask. For this I'm going to use hot glue gun. So you're just going to start putting strips of hot glue on here. and just smooth the fabric over the hot glue because you don't want it to be bumpy. Okay. Okay, now pull back again and put another strip of hot glue and again smooth the fabric over. Okay, again pull back, hot glue, smooth it over. Okay, so now that we hot glued the top of the nose, see it's all hot glued, we're going to do the bottom of the nose. So we're going to take this paper clip out and we're going to peel the fabric back to the point where it's glued. And we're going to put a strip of hot glue right here. And put the fabric over and smooth it out. Okay, and then peel the fabric back again to the point that it's glued. And put the strip of hot glue again and smooth it out again. So now that your nose is glued, you're gonna start doing the sides. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the hot glue and you're gonna put it on one side of the eye strip and on the other side of the eye strip. And again, flip the fabric over and smooth it out. Okay. Now that the whole mask is glued to your fabric, what you're going to do is you're going to cut the fabric, leaving a quarter inch of border all around the mask. You're going to take your hot glue gun and you're going to start gluing the remainder of your fabric starting from the middle. So you just fold it over and glue to it. Okay. And work with little small sections. 
just pull and glue to it. Make sure to pull on the fabric because you don't want it to be um, folded right here. Okay, so now that you glued all around your excess fabric, just um, cut some of the strands that are loose. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take care of the eyes now. Now for the eyes, you need your X-Acto knife and you don't cut out the eyes at all. So you just cut, cut the fabric through. Like that. So from the corner, um, leave just a bit of a space before you cut. See right there, just maybe a quarter of an inch. Um, and also go to the back, maybe just a little further than a quarter of an inch because you're gonna be folding this. And then you're gonna cut through here also a quarter of an inch away. So one slit and so two slits right here on the eyes and uh, one slit at the bottom. Okay. Just cut maybe a little bit closer to the corner of the eye. You're gonna put the hot glue on the inside of the eye, just a very, very, very thin strip of hot glue. And again, work in sections. So you're gonna put it on here and then pull the fabric out of the eye and fold it over. Okay. Okay, see how it's turning out? Cut as you need it, so you, it will be easier for you to pull it out of the eye. Okay, so this is how it looks like, your one eye. And you're just gonna cut this later. Okay, so now that your eyes are done, okay, what you're gonna do is you're gonna cut everything that is sticking out in the back here. 
just clean it up a little. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna poke holes because there's holes in uh, a paper mask. So I'm just gonna poke holes with uh, a back of my paper clip. You know, not to rip the material. That's why I did not want anything sharp. So I'm just gonna just poke through. So, there. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take my strip of pearls and uh, I'm going to put it over the eye right here. So there, it goes like that. And um, I have this little tip right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna curl it upward. Like that. Okay, and I'm gonna also put pearls at the bottom right here too. Okay, and then curve this one out the other way. Okay, so now I measured how much I want of a netting on the mask to be and I tied it off right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to gather the netting up right here with a thread. And I'm just going to do, I'm going to be, um, see just put it through the squares right here. And I'm going to do every other one, so it's a little loose. Okay, so here is my gathered Russian net, and I'm going to glue it halfway on the right eye and it's gonna go over to the bottom right here of the left eye. I'm gonna put hot glue right there. Okay. I'm just gonna Glue it right there. I'm gonna stretch it out and glue it right here at the bottom.
Okay, so this is how it's turning out right now. Okay, so now I am going to glue the flowers on the mask. So. right here like that and the bottom one is a little over right over here so. I'm just gonna glue my embellishment. So I'm just gonna put hot glue on the flower. Put my brooch right there. Okay, and do the same thing with the top flower. Okay, so what's left to do is just to feed the ribbon through your holes. Okay. And uh, your mask is ready. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and please visit my website. It's uh, milehighcrafts.com. Thank you and happy crafting. Okay, so the last touch is I'm gonna take my ribbons and I'm gonna feed them through. Okay, and uh, I'm gonna take my pencil and I'm just gonna feed the ribbon with the pencil.